Rage painting, in short, is throwing paint at a canvas, but there's more to it than that because it's a cathartic release of energy and feelings and emotions in a physical way. I love art. <laughs> That's the easiest way to put it. I am a sculpture major, um, so I work with my hands, clay, metal, wood, anything. Uh, we're out at Hooves, which is um, nonprofit organization that does equine therapy with veterans recovering from PTSD. Veterans come do a three day, four day retreat um, and go through all the different courses with the horses. One of my friends recommended me was like, hey, I know you're a vet. I know you have PTSD. Come on, just check it out. Part of the community outreach of offering the skills that we have and use here more to the public while still supporting the mission to help the veterans. All the money we make from that goes towards putting veterans through a retreat weekend. Everyone's got anger. Yes. <laughs> Everyone's frustrated over something or another, whether it's wearing masks, my kids got to stay home from school and now we're doing remote learning. Not being able to go see your friends, family, go out and do the things you used to. So there's that anger, frustration, rage, and coincidentally, wearing paint suits, face shields, gloves to protect yourself from the paint makes it really easy to transition for pandemic use. We've got buckets of paint and we've got paint brushes in there, we've got balls, sponges, um, turkey basters, all kinds of stuff that you can throw, sling paint. So basically, I'm really mad I'm gonna throw something, but in a constructive way, in a safe environment that leads to you talking about it, figuring out why you're that angry, but you get that instant release of, you know, throwing the paint, getting it out, and then when you're done with it, you have this wonderful painting at the end that you can be like, oh yeah, that's how I worked through that. So it's a constant reminder once you've made the painting too. Innovation is, I mean, always something we have to deal with in art. Whether it's how do I get this sculpture to sit together? How do I make metal look like it's feather light? How do I make this color look orange? How do I do, everything is innovation for artists. So you give us a problem, we're gonna figure out a way to solve it. I love being attached to UT. The, the Toledo Museum of Art is a privately funded um, art museum which were one of the only universities that have a university attached to a privately owned museum. So we have that instant availability of, well, I want to go see a David Smith sculpture. Well, we can just walk, you know, just down the street and go see one. So the availability is right there to see the art, interact with the art. My goal is to finish my BFA and I want to open a studio um, of my own. It's just kind of something that a lot of veterans are drawn to, especially if they're artistic is going into the arts because it helps with PTSD, depression, anxiety. I could keep listing <laughs> because it's expression. You know, you get to basically express how you're feeling through whatever you're making. You're acknowledging your feelings and that puts you more open to talk about them. I'm working through all my stuff. We talk about emotions, we talk about feelings and it's not something to be scared about.